children! How are you? I hope you are fine. Before we start with our exercise book, let's watch the video, okay? Hello children, today we are going to explore on the topic of odd and even numbers. What is the meaning of odd and even numbers? Odd numbers means having one left over as a remainder. And even numbers means when divided by two will leave no remainder. Now let's have a look at this example to have a better understanding. Here are four toys. One, two, three, four. Four toys. These teddy bears can be paired into two. And this octopus can be paired into two as well. Therefore, number four is an even number because it can be divided into two equal groups. Now, if I take out one of the octopus out, we are only left with three toys. One, two, three. Now, we can still pair up the teddies into two in a group. But, this will leave the octopus as a remainder of one. Because it does not have a partner. So, Number three is an odd number because it cannot be divided into equal groups. Please take out this book. Hello children. Today we are going to learn mathematics and I hope you have watched the video about odd and even number just now. Moving on. Let's do some exercises related to odd and even to strengthen your understanding. Turn to page 10 and read the instruction with me. Circle the odd number using green colored pencil and the even number using purple colored pencil. We are going to identify the numbers given on this page whether each and every number is even or odd. Okay, let's try and do this together. Let's try number 36. Now, to identify number whether it is odd or even we have to identify using the last digit. For example, this number is 36. Now we have to look at the last digit which is number 6 and identify whether number 6 is odd or even. Let's take out 6 animal toys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 animal toys. Now, let's pair up these toys into 2 in each group. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Is there any left? As a remainder? No. No. We are able to pair up these toys into two in each group. Therefore, six is even number. So for even number, we are going to circle it using purple colored pencil. Circle number 36 with purple. 36 
is even number. Now let's try the other numbers. What about this number over here? What number is this? 48. 48. And to identify whether a number is odd or even, we have to look at the last digit. The last digit over here is 8. And let's try to pair up 8 into 2 in a group. Let's count the toys again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, let's pair up the toys into 2 in a group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. All the toys are paired up. Is there any remainder left? No. No, there is no toys being left out without a friend. Therefore, number 8 is an even, even number. number. Let's circle 48 with purple colored pencil. Let's try this number over here. What number is this? 23. 23. Now, to identify whether a number is odd or even, Let's look at the last digit and try to identify whether this number 3 here is odd or even. Let's take out 3 toys. 1, 2, 3. 3 animal toys. Now let's pair them up into a group of 2. 1, 2. Uh-oh, this horse over here is left alone as a remainder. It does not have a partner. So is number 3 odd or even? Odd number. Odd number, right. So for odd number, we are going to circle the number using green colored pencil. So let's circle number 23 in green. Next, let's try number 15. The last digit here is 0. So 0 will always be an even number. Take a purple color pencil and circle 50. Even number. What number is this? 27. 27. Let's identify the last digit, number 7, whether it is even or odd. Let's take out 7 toys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's pair up these toys into a group of 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. Uh oh! The donkey is left alone as a remainder. So, is number 7 odd or even? Odd. Odd. For odd number, we are going to use green colored pencil. Circle number 27. Next, number 19. Let's identify whether number 9 is odd or even. Let's take out 9 toy animals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 9 tall animals. And now, let's pair them up into a group of 2 in each group. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, and 2. Uh-oh. This horse is left alone as a remainder. So, is number 9 odd or even? Odd. Odd. Let's take out the green colored pencil and circle number 19 as an odd number. Moving on. Number 21. Look at the last digit. It's number 1. There is only one toy animal here. Can we pair it up into a group of two in a group? No. No. It is all alone by itself. So number 1 is an odd number. Use a green colored pencil and circle number 21. 
Next, 42. Look at the last digit here. Number 2. Let's take out our toys animal again. 1, 2. Can they be paired up as a group? Yes. Yes, there is no remainder. So now 42 is even number. Use a purple color pencil to circle it. Next, number 32. Look at the last digit. It's number 2. So there are two animals over here and we can pair them up without leaving any remainder left. So is number 2 odd or even? Even number. So for even number, we are going to use purple color pencil to circle the number. 32 is even number. Next, 34. Look at the last digit. It is number 4. So let's take up 4 animal toys. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, pair them up. 1, 2, 1 and 2. Is there any remainder left? No. No, there is no remainder left. So number 34 is even number. Circle it using purple colored pencil. Look at this number. It is 24. The last digit is 4. It is the same as 34. Both as 4 as the last digits. So do you think 24 is even or odd? Even number. Good job. Use purple color pencil and circle number 24. Even number. Try this. 48. Look at the last digit here. It is number 8. Let's take up 8 toy animals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. 8 toy animals. Next. We have to pair them up into a group of two in each group. One, two, one, two, one, and two, one, and two. Is there any remainder left? No. No, therefore, number 38, 48, sorry, is an even number. Circle it using the purple colored pencil. Next. What number is this? 11. Yes, this is 11. Look at the last digit here. It's number 1. So if it's number 1, the toy animal is left all alone by itself. Does it have a partner? No. No. So if you're left all alone, this is an odd number. So 11 is an odd number. Circle it using the green colored pencil. Next. 46. Look at the last digit here. 6. Now, I think you, you have the hang of it already by now. Do you think 6 is odd or even? Even number. Even number. Good. Let's try and see if you're correct. Take 6 animals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, let's pair them up. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1 and 2. Look, you are correct. 6 is an even number. Use the colored pencil, purple and circle 46 as an even number. What about 26? The last digit is 6. Is this even or all? Even number. Yes, even number. Look at the toys over here. There is no remainder. So, this is an even number. Huh, another 26 over here. Last digit is 6. Do you think it's even or odd? Even. Good. This is even number. Let's try this. 39. Look at the last digit. It's number 9. Let's count our toys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Pair them up. 1, 2, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 1 and 2. Uh-oh, the horse is left all alone again. So, when you have a remainder of 1, is this odd or even? 
odd. Yes, therefore, 39 is odd. Circle it with green colored pencil. Now, let's do without the toys and see if you can figure it out by yourself. What about this number over here? This is 13. Look at the last digit. It's number 3. Do you think 3 is odd or even? Odd. Odd. Good job. 13 is odd. What about 24? Look at the last digit. Is number 4 odd or even? Even number. Yes, even number. So, 24, we will circle it with purple colored pencil. Try this number over here. 34 is the same last digit, number 4. So, do you think 34 is odd or even number? Even number. Yes, 34 is even number. Circle it with purple colored pencil. Ha! Remember what I said earlier about number zero? Is it odd or even? Even. Even number. Therefore, 20 is an even number. Circle it with purple colored pencil. Try this over here. 48. The last digit is 8. So, is 8 an odd or even number? Even number. Good. Now, let's just check your answer. Count the toy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Next, what do we do? We pair them up. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And one, two. Is there any remainder left? No. No. So when every toy is paired equally, the number is even. So circle 48 as even number. This is another 48. Remember, add is an even number. So circle it as well. What about 37? Look at the last digit. It is seven. So odd or even number? Odd. Good job. Let's double check your answer with these toys. Count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven animals. Pair them up. One, two, one and two, one and two. Yes, there is one remainder left. The sheep has no partner. Therefore, number seven is an odd number. 37 is odd. Circle A with green colored pencil. What about 47? The last digit is the same as this. So, do you think 47 is odd or even? Odd number. Good job. Circle 47 with green colored pencil. Let's try. 48. The last digit is 8. So, is number 8 odd or even? Even. Good. Circle in purple colored pencil. What about this? 28. The last digit is 8 as well. So is it odd or even? Number 28. Even. Good job. Circle it with purple colored pencil. Now, look at this number. 43. The last digit is 3. So, is number 3 odd or even? Odd. Odd? Are you sure? Let's try and check your answer. Count three animals. One, two, three. And pair them up. Yes, you are correct. Because we have one animal left as a remainder. Yeah. Therefore, 43 is an odd number. Circle A with green colored pencil. What about this number over here? 35. Look at the last digit. It is number 5. So is 35 an odd or even number? Odd number. Yes. Circle A with green colored pencil. Try this. 49. Look at number 9. Is 
Nine, even or odd number? Odd. Odd, yes. Circle with green colored pencil. Now, next one. Forty, remember? If number zero at the end, so do you think it is odd or even? Even. Yes, forty is even number. Circle it with purple colored pencil. Thirty-eight, again number eight. Remember just now we did a lot of exercises with number 8 at the back. So do you think 38 is an even or an odd number? Even number. Yes, 38 is an even number. Circle it with purple colored pencil. What about this number over here? This is 18. But we have to look at the last digit here. It is number 8. It is the same as number 38. So, do you think that 18 is an odd or an even number? Even number. Yes, even number. Circle it with purple colored pencil. What number is this? 29. 29. 9. Is it odd or even? Odd. Odd. Let's just try your answer and check, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. What do we do next? Pair them up. Yes, we pair them up. One, two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Uh oh, this animal is left alone as a remainder. So when you have a remainder, is it odd or even? Odd. Odd. So number 9 is odd. Therefore, 29 is an odd number. Circle it with green colored pencil. Okay, 48. Remember, we did a lot of odd numbers that ends with the digit 8. So 48 is number 8 odd or even? Even. Yes, so 48 is an even number. What about 50? Look at the last digit. It is 5. Is 5 odd or even? Odd. Let's try and check your answer. How many toys? 5. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, pair them up. Yeah, this Donkey is left alone again as a remainder. So, number 5 is odd. 15 is an odd number. Circle number 15. Now, this is 35. The last digit is number 5. So, is 35 odd or even? Odd. Odd. What about... 25, the last digit is 5. Look at these 5 animals. Is it odd or even? Number 5? Odd. Odd. Right. So, 25 is an odd number. Circle 25. 39. We have done this is now. Number 9, is it odd or even? Odd. Yes. So, 39 is odd number. Circle with a green colored pencil. And the last one, number 10, remember, if the last digit is 0, so is the number odd or even? Even. Yes. 10 is an even number. Circle it with a purple colored pencil. I hope you have understand odd and even. Good job, children. Hello, children. Welcome to the mathematics class. Today, teacher would like to discuss with you about the topic of place value. In our number system, the value of a digit depends on its place or position in the number. For the purpose of our class today, we will explore the place value in the column of tens and ones only. Now, what number is this? 45. 45. 
again 45 45 so the place value for number 5 is in column once and the place value for number 4 is tens therefore number 45 is four tens and five ones all right now let's try your understanding just give it a shot okay no worries if you make a mistake this is what learning is all about what number is this 39 39 so number nine what is the place value of number nine is mm. it in column tens or in column ones mm. is it one yes number nine is in column ones what about number three is it in column tens or column ones tens good job three is in the place value of tens therefore 39 39 is 3 tens and 9 ones okay let's try another example what number is this 26 good job 26 can you tell me the place value of 6 is it in column tens or column ones? Mm, ones. Good job. You're very confident now. Six ones. What about number two? Is it in column tens or column ones? Tens. Good. The place value for two is in column tens. Therefore, 26 is two tens and six ones hello children today we are going to learn on the new topic of tens and ones i hope you have watched the video just now and get some understanding on this particular topic now let's do some exercises turn to page 11 read the instruction with me color the star that shows the correct value Okay, now let's try the first exercise. Three tens, six ones. In Bahasa Malaysia, tiga puluh dan enam sa. So these are the columns that we have shown you in the videos just now. Column tens and column ones. In Bahasa Malaysia, Ruangan puluh dan ruangan sa. Three tens, six ones. Three tens and six ones. Now what is this number? Thirty-six. Right, thirty-six. So which one is number thirty-six in the option of answers given here? This is 26, this is 16, this is 36. So let's color this star over here. 36. Moving on. Four tens, eight ones four tens put number four at the column tens and eight ones eight in column ones what number do we get here 48 48 so let's look for number 48 in the answers given this is 26 this is 38 this is 48 yes 48 is four tens and eight ones 48 color this number go 
Good job. Next. Two tens, zero ones. Dua puluh, kosong sa. Two tens, put number two in a column, tens. And zero in a column, ones. What number do you get? Twenty. Twenty. This is number twenty. This is twenty-two. This is twenty-six. So two tens, zero ones is number twenty. This is the answer. Moving on. Three tens, nine ones. In Bahasa Malaysia, tiga puluh. Sembilan sa. Three tens. Put that number three. You put that column tens. And nine ones. Nine. You put in a column ones. What number do you get? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. This is ninety-three. This is thirty-six. This is thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Three tens and nine ones. This is the correct answer. Color it. Next, four tens and two ones. In Bahasa Malaysia, empat puluh dua sa. Take number four and put in column tens. And you take number two and put it in column ones. What number do you get? Forty-two. Forty-two. Look at the answers given. This is twenty-four. This is forty-four, and this is forty-two. Forty-two. This is the correct answer. In Bahasa Malaysia, dua puluh tujuh sa. Now we take two and put it at the column tens, and we take number seven and put it in the column ones. What number do you get? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Look at the option of answers given here. This is seventy-two. This is thirty-seven. And this is twenty-seven. So the answer is twenty-seven. Two tens and seven ones. Color this. Good job, children. I hope you understand the topic of tens and ones. Children, today we will learn about big and small number. Children. Before we know the number is big or small, we need to compare or see the difference between the number quantity or the value. By comparing the quantity, we can find either the number is bigger or smaller number. Let's compare number five and number three. First, you need to put five apple on the top of number five and three apples on the top of the other number. Which group of apple do you think is more? Five. Yes. Five apples are more than three apples. Therefore, number five is the bigger number as compared to number three. Let's compare the next example. Number eight and number twelve. Let's put eight apples on the top of number eight, and twelve apples on the top of the other number. Which group of apple do you think is lesser? Eight. Yes, number eight. That means number eight is the smaller number, and number twelve is the bigger number. Okay, children. You have watched the video about identifying big number, small number, or more and less numbers. 
So let's do some exercises related to this topic on page 12. Read the instruction with me. Compare and write B, small or same for the pairs of numbers below. Now, B, I, G is big, big numbers. S, M, A, L, L is small, smaller numbers. Or S, A, M, E, same. Same means you have equal number of objects in both groups. Okay, let's try your understanding. This is number 45. This is number 48. Now, remember the video just now that teacher had shown you? Yes, let's identify the last digit here. This is number 5 and this is number 8. Which number is bigger or more? 5 or 8? Eight? 8, yes. Number 8 is big. B I G. Big. It's bigger than number 5. And therefore, number 5 is smaller than number 8. Or 5 is less than 8. So, 45 here is small, S-M-A-L-L. -L. Number 45 is smaller than number 48. Let's try the next one. 33. This number over here is 39. Now, let's compare the last digit. This one over here is 3. This one over here is 9. So, between number 3 and number 9, which number is smaller, lesser? 3. Yes, number 3 is smaller than number 9. Or 3 is lesser than 9. For here, we put small. What about 39? Number 9 here. 9 is bigger than number 3. Therefore, 39 is bigger than 33 or 39 is more than 33. So this, the number 39 here is big. Let's try this one. 26. Over here is 25. Let's compare the last digit here. 6 and 5. Which one is bigger? Is number 6 bigger than number 5? Yes. Yes. 6 is bigger than number 5. Or 6 is more than 5. Therefore, 26 is B. 25 is smaller than 26. Or 25 is lesser than 26. Six. Therefore, number 25 is smaller. Now, look at this number given here. This is number 8 and over here is number 8 as well. So, when these numbers are the same, the comparison for these two is they are the same. Same. In Bahasa Malaysia, sama, same. They are of the same quantity. Next, 14 and 34. Now, 14 and 34. Which number is bigger or more than the other number? Is it 14 or 34? 34. Yes, 34 is bigger or has more than number 14. 14 is the smaller number. Now look at this number here. 29 compared to 27. 
So each 29 bigger or has is more than 27? Yes. Yes. 29 is bigger or is more than 27. So 29 is B. Now 27, it is smaller than number 29 or it is lesser than 29. So 27 is small number. Now look at this. 50 over here is also 50. Is it the same? Yes. Yes. So the answer here is they are of the same quantity. Same. What about 17? And the next group here is also 17. Is it the same? Yes. Yes. It is the same quantity.